Jenya and this is Jenya's Kitchen. Today we're getting ready for Christmas Eve, but when you watch it, it might be already the next year. You never know, this video might come up even at some point next year, February, you never know. There's always a surprise. So anyway, today we're going to make an appetizer and you can always use this appetizer for anything. We, we like to make it for Christmas Eve and we like to make it for Mother's Day. We're going to make we need to make uh, wrap and bacon with some brown sugar. That's it. Three ingredients. Simple, straightforward, delicious. Let's start the unpacking and wrapping. So the oven is warming up at to 350 degrees and we opened our little weenies uh, and we opened the bacon. It's a pound of bacon and it's 14 ounces package of weenies. We got all of our bacon out and we're going to visually divide on three parts and just cut it all the way through. That basically was the bacon prep. That's all you gotta do. You take a weenie, take a piece of bacon, put the weenie in the bacon, roll it up if you want. You can always secure it with a toothpick. We're just gonna put it seam side down on a cookie sheet. I prefer parchment paper because we're going to put some sugar on it and the fat will come off and the sugar will melt and we don't want it burning on. So let's do it one more time. A weenie, a weenie, a weenie. Okay, we'll do that. A bacon, weenie, roll it up. It's not rolling. Seam side down. That's it. So I'm gonna weenie and roll in the bacon for a little bit and I'll come back to you for the last step before I pop it in the bacon. Uh, Pop in the oven. <laughs> so we had about four to five slices total of bacon left. So just so you know, we have some bacon left over, and every single weenie has been used. So next, our next ingredient is brown sugar. We have uh, light brown sugar. You're gonna use about. Um, oh, sorry, there is a crazy cat over here. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna use about a uh, quarter of a cup. I have a big chunk right here, and woo. I'm getting scratched, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over here. Wait a minute, stop. Okay, about a quarter cup should do it. And the oven's already hot at 350. That's it. We're gonna go in, we're going to watch our time. We're going to come back and we are, we, I do like to flip them over and sometimes even put a little bit more sugar on top. So we'll put the timer on 350. We'll see what happens. It's been 30 minutes. Let's see. Oh, they look beautiful. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, it's hot. All right. So my next step is going to be flipping them all over. Just every single one of them. The bag is gonna come off a little bit, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just flipping them over. I'm just turning them. So see why it's parchment paper, there is a lot of sugar melting, there's a lot of fat on it. So we're going to use now we're gonna use about a couple tablespoons of brown sugar for the other side. Just sprinkle it on top. Oh lovely. That's it. Let's go back in the oven. We'll time it again. And then we're gonna have the most amazing taste test, I promise you. Okay, back in the oven, 350. I think it will take another half an hour. It will be less than that. We just need the sugar to melt and to caramelize. We'll be back. So we did about 15 minutes on the other side. We took them out a few minutes ago because I want them to cool off and I want them to burn my mouth. What I'm going to do with them, actually, I'm going to transfer them to another dish or um, 
you know, just it, it wanna at least change the parchment paper because you wanna crisp them up again before your guests come and you wanna get rid of the excess of fat. That's like this extra little lean tip for you guys. So anyway, the toothpick, very important for taste testing. The weenie, smells amazing, smoky. Mmm, delicious. Bacon's a little crunchy, it's sweet. Mmm, so good. Cooks through, not super hot already. It has a little bit of a stickiness on the top. This is delicious. It makes a perfect appetizer for any party as long as you have meat eaters. I'm Jenny. This is Jenny's Kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe because you never know what happens here and whenever you'll see Kat attacking me again when I cook. This is my take in Winnie's in bacon.